Kyle Mason. I'm from Oklahoma. And I'm a Gears of War professional player. Map number one, Kyle gets himself a double. Oh, a beautiful display of kills right there from Kyle. And it's gonna be a big cap domination. Everybody loves Kyle. Can always feel Kyle's energy. Kyle, he wants to let identity know that this is his map. He's a fantastic player. Just raw skill. Kyle is going to take out Dezenai. Neko Fox, they are looking phenomenal this event. He's one of the most consistent players in Gears of War. Kyle's going to be the one to make a play again. That's his fourth. Marks a headshot this round alone. Talk about being an impact player. You just see his passion and his gameplay every single time. Hey, I told you. Kyle is a player who plays with his heart on his sleeve. He is definitely one of the more talented players I've seen in, in my time casting Gears of War. I'm like, damn, like that's my boyfriend playing and he's doing really, really good. I get just excited thinking about it. The guy just wants to win. He hasn't won a trophy yet, but I mean, he deserves it. He's so hungry for his first championship, both on a personal level and as a competitor. I know everybody says they, they want to win, they want to win, but I haven't won. So I want a trophy more than anybody here. Like, it's just a fact. I've always been like a competitive person. My mom plays sports. My stepdad at the time played sports, and so I played sports. I played soccer, basketball, football, and then there was a time in football where I hurt my knee. And so while I hurt my knee, I tended to play video games more. And so when my knee healed, I was already good at video games, and so that's why I stuck to it. Growing up, I faced a lot of difficulties with my parents going through divorces, depression, anxiety. My depression stemmed from like loneliness, feeling like I was alone. I moved six times in one year, so when you move so much, I feel like it, it just feels good to talk to someone. The Gears community means so much to me is because if there's one thing I could rely on, it was uh, the people I met online. Joining the community at first, you gotta make a name for yourself. So at first it's tough, but once you do good at events, they become more accepting of who you are. They want to get to know you. We all came up together through the trenches in Gears of War 3, like as a family, as, as a community. There's so much love, so much passion for the game. A lot of people see the trash talk. A lot of people see the crazy personalities and they may be a little bit turned off to it at first. But look, at the end of the game, they're always shaking hands. I met best friends from it. A lot of people I can call family. And so that's how they're part of my life, just friends for life. Kyle's an amazing person. Tell me you want it. <laughs> it kind of sounds cliche, but a uh, very good kid. Was brought up the right way. Kyle's just a good dude. I've known him for a long time, and He's extremely talented and he's becoming a role model for other players on our team and throughout the community. My mom got involved in the community. She made a Twitter and I didn't like it at first because like every tweet or everything she would like or something I wouldn't like it or if she followed someone I didn't like I would hate it and sometimes I would like sneak off on her phone and delete some tweets like some of them were embarrassing. She's the number one fan of Kyle, Echo Fox, everyone. She loves everyone. I think it's cool to see a mom like so like involved with like, you know, like her son's uh, career. Kind of wish I had that kind of support from my mom. She would always be like, why are you in your room so much? And she was always confused. I mean, as she watched the streams and watched me play, I think that's when she got attached. It's very difficult in any eSport to convince your parents, hey, like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play video games. Because as a parent, you're like, no, you're not. You're gonna go to school. You're gonna get a job. Like, you're gonna work a normal job. But to have someone in your life that is that willing to say, no, you do what you want to do, that's, that's a rare thing to see. And then for her to not only do that, but then also to literally be his number one fan, that's amazing to see. I'm scrolling through Twitter and I'm like, like I, I'm still half asleep and I'm like, wait. So, um, so, um, my mom would want, It saddens me to tell, tell you guys that my mom passed away. <laughs> um, 
she passed away. I'm just letting you guys know. I've known Mama Kyle six, seven years, so it was devastating to hear. And I know she meant the world to Kyle. He didn't have a father growing up, so it was tragic. Him and his mom had a relationship like every son and mom wants to have. You know, she was his best friend. She was one of the most loving people I ever met. It was, felt like we lost one of ours there, and we, we did lose one of ours. It was a complete shock, and it was uh, something that definitely impacted and affected way more people than just the Echo Fox team and organization. Four of the members from Optic and Frank from my team came to my mom's funeral, and they came just for me out of nowhere, so it felt great. They cried at the funeral. That, that made me emotional, because these are people that you play a video game with, not expecting that they're in your personal life. Like, this is very personal. And in the Gears community, we made a GoFundMe, and we raised a lot of money, and then, of course, Echo Fox helped. Gears War Moms made, like, shirts that say, in love and memory of Mama Kyle, so there's just a lot of support. I think he knows that she's looking down on him. And I think that kind of gives him a little bit of an extra kick when he's playing, and he's really developing into a, a fantastic man, not just a, a player, a fantastic man as well. The way that I've seen Kyle since then, I, I think it made him a lot stronger as an individual. I think he's really handled her passing really well. I think he's used it as a motivation for Gears of War. My mom passed away. She's my motivation every day, and I haven't won. So my mission is to win for her. He's too good to place anything that's not first. I need him to win. Win once at least for Mama Kyle, you know? The end of season one, um, there's a lot of thinking to do. It's uh, if I should, you know, stay with my old team or, or move on. And so I decided to, to move on. Ah, I'm stressed. This is what you do when you're stressed. This has been something that I, uh, it was hard to do because, as you know, I'm the only player that was on Echo Fox, which means I had to drop four players on my team. So. It was hard. Our team, even though they're all amazing guys, we're all cool friends. We gave the team four events and we, the highest placing we got was fourth. And it just seemed like we just couldn't really win. And so I had to make a tough decision. We were previously on uh, Envious, myself, Praised, Solars, and Franchise. We left Envy for Echo Fox. I've already knew the guys for years, so they're all like good friends of mine. They're all great at the game, they taught me a lot. I think Kyle is the right move for us. I'm excited to, you know, compete with him. Kyle's a very good player. You know, I'm glad that we picked him up. Uh, we, we were looking for that extra oomph in, like, in, our, in our firepower. He's learning a lot from us because we are, a, you know, elite premier team, and he wasn't on those teams before, right? So he's really getting to learn from some of the best players, learning what it really, really means to have proper teamwork. <laughs> those are your brothers, but at the same time, it's like a relationship between four other guys. You gotta communicate, you gotta text the group chat, be on time, you gotta like laugh with them. Literally a relationship without the sexual part. <laughs> Good boy, sit. So me, Praise, and Toy Soldier ended up looking for apartments. Praise found a good one in Plano, Texas. The move is pretty cool, you know, it's different for me because, you know, I, I live in the country and uh, I'm moving into like a more populated town. I love you, bro. It's gonna be great living with Kyle and Praise just because, you know, they're teammates of mine. Not even just teammates, you know, they're, they're actual friends to me. You know, it's the start of something great. We made this move because we thought it'd help us with practicing and stuff, you know what I mean? And so like, I'm excited about that. We're getting good practice and making sure that we're as prepared as possible. This is my first time playing with them on land, so land is a different environment than online, so it's cool to just sit next to them and practice. Yo, we you know, we really come together in person. I, I want to put all that work we put in into our team and, and finally have it pay off and hold that trophy up with my freaking friends. It's going to be great. My first big win would mean, you know, the most just because I've been telling my mom I was going to win for all the years and I didn't. So, you know, showing her that, you know, I brought home a trophy would mean a lot. That's what we're, we're gearing up for.
We're at the Gears of Dallas Open. We're all excited. We can't wait to play. It's Echo Bucks! Kyle's playing with so much passion. Like, he wants a championship probably more than most players bad. on this circuit. Like, yeah. he wants it bad. Kyle, he's definitely playing for his mom. You know, he puts the picture, like, right under his monitor when, when he plays. I started having that photo next to my monitor when I play. I guess it is a motivational thing. I love kissing it and just knowing that she's there. So like, I guess it is like when we're losing or something or winning, I look at it. So it, it's a motivational thing for sure. I feel like my mom was always there with me no matter what. Echo Fox versus Ronan. Echo Fox, three straight dominant rounds. It feels good to be able to dominate like we have. Echo Fox against Optic Gaming. Optic Gaming is always going to be the favorite. Echo Fox need to stop the Optic Gaming momentum. Echo Fox can't hold on much longer. Optic looking to take advantage. Domination coming through. Last man alive is there. That's a white break there. Optic Gaming takes your Dallas Open. It was unfortunate, but we, we, we took a tough loss. We are at Mexico City for the $200,000 Gears of War Open. Echo Fox. Against Faith, you know, we started that map off with a 4-1 lead. Everything was rolling and Fable caught fire. This is a great opportunity for Fable. Big play, jump for Mars. I'm going to Mars! My God, the yeah, Echo Fox falls! Fable Eastbrook eliminates Echo Fox. It's took their absolute best to beat us. Um, they did, we made a lot of mistakes. So we're in Las Vegas right now, third event of season two. Echo Fox, Optic Gaming. Optic has had the upper hand on us, not just last season, this season. Optic Gaming consistently has beaten Echo Fox at every turn, and now this is the end of the line. I thought like Echo Fox actually has a really good chance. They're the toughest the competitors, they're the defending champions. We gotta beat them now, because I expect war. Echo Fox coming out strong. It's gonna be four to one now. We showed them, we gave them a beating. Can Optic Gaming neutralize this hill quick enough? Last chance to touch God, touch it to a seven. They're not gonna do it. Echo Fox gonna get the win here. Seven to one on map number two. And Optic Gaming was unable to win that map as Echo Fox completely wiped him. Map number three is gonna be on the way. On this round for Echo Fox, the kills aren't coming out. The time is running out, and Optic Gaming wins their fourth round in a row. Unfortunately, uh, they came out on fire. From then, we were trying to clutch up. We weren't being fast enough, we weren't being strong enough. Four dead for Echo Fox. Optic Gaming, six to one, make it seven to one, and they eliminate Echo Fox here on Championship Sunday. I'm feeling very disappointed. Put it all out on the table. I did what I could. We're gonna bounce back. She just was proud. She was a proud mama. It's hard to talk about her, but she would like be so proud of him. Uh, what he's doing and moving forward and getting his GED, finishing school, and pursuing his, his dream of, of being a gamer and being on top. And he's been so strong. I don't know how he stayed so strong. My grandma, she's so happy and excited for me. So, I mean, it's cool to know that she supports whatever I do in life. He's smart and he's got these things that he wants to do in life and is like such an entrepreneur. I just like, and I know that he will do it. If he's gonna be famous, I think he's gonna be famous. <laughs> Remember I keep telling you that. Yeah. Well, we gotta win some events that will help out. You will, I mean, you will. Yeah. I have faith. I know she's up there watching down and smiling at really the leader and the man that Kyle has become. I think he's grown as a person. I know that would mean the world to, to Mama Kyle, so it's really great to see. A lot of these players nowadays have egos and they think they're better than the others. Kyle does not. He's extremely humble. He's extremely hardworking. What more could you want in a player? Always trying to get better. Always wants to put in the extra hours. Always wants to do everything that we can to win together. He's determined. He's focused. He does everything that I've done to win trophies, so he'll be a champ before the season's over. Every event means the world to him, and he's here to win it for her, and believe me when I say he's going to bring it. I'm never giving up. I'm going to win multiple championships. I know that my mom's proud of who I am and what I'm doing. I know she's looking down on me, and uh, 
we're gonna bring that first championship home to Echo Fox.